Imagine a world where the last remnants of humanity cling to life in a colossal underground bunker, where secrets lurk around every corner, and where every level is a story waiting to be unraveled. This is the canvas of Hugh Howey's Gripping Silo series, a trilogy of novels that takes readers on a journey through a post-apocalyptic landscape ripe with mystery and strife. Now, transported from the page to the screen, the Silo Saga finds a new home in an Apple TV Plus production that breathes vibrant life into Howie's creation. As we delve into this captivating universe, we find ourselves comparing the written word with its visual interpretation. While both mediums tell a tale of survival and defiance, they each do so in their unique way showcasing the flexibility of storytelling across different platforms. Let's explore the world within the silo as imagined in the books. A colossal subterranean structure stretching miles beneath the earth, with over a hundred levels, each a distinct community with its own heartbeat. It's a realm where each floor is a universe unto itself, and the journey between them is rare and fraught with meaning. The television adaptation, however, presents a more intimate portrayal of the silo focusing on fewer levels to hone in on the heart of the story. A decision likely influenced by the practicalities of production, but one that also brings us closer to the characters we follow. Speaking of characters, they are the soul of both the novels and the TV show. While some familiar faces have their stories streamlined or merged, new depth is infused into others, creating a cast that resonates with viewers and retains the spirit of their literary counterparts. Juliet in the series, for instance, is a whirlwind of determination, her instinctive rebellion a bright spark in the shadowy depths of the silo. The adaptation has distilled her essence, capturing her spirit in a form that leaps off the screen. And though we miss some characters like Donald, whose intricate backstory weaves through the novels, the show weaves his essence into others, creating a tapestry rich with the narratives of a complex world. The pacing, as one might expect, differs between the novels and the TV show. In print, the story unfolds like a slow yet irresistible pull, drawing us deeper with each page. On the screen, the narrative charges forward, driven by the necessity of fitting a vast tale into a limited runtime. Yet, this brisk tempo brings with it an energy that propels the story and keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. Despite these differences, there's an undeniable thread of optimism weaving through both renditions of the Silo series. Whether through the pages of the novels or the frames of the TV show, the message is clear. Even in the darkest of times, the human spirit persists, fueled by hope and the unyielding desire for truth and freedom. In conclusion, the Silo to show and the Silo novels may tell their stories with distinct voices, but they both sing the same anthem, a tale of resilience, of questioning the status quo, and of finding light in the deepest of darknesses. As the Silo series continues to inspire and captivate, it stands as a testament to the power of storytelling, no matter the medium.